Do it in steps. See, I think what, what, what is, he was doing the same thing. You're kind of going, you're kind of jumping the gun. Yeah. As opposed to going from here, you're going down, up, and then you step. It's a straight shot up. Yeah. Right. I was doing the same thing. You do a straight up at first. Okay. Right. Right. You know, so yeah, I felt the difference towards the end. Okay. Try it. Not so slow, but. Go slip it like right. Yeah. Right. You should have stepped more. Alright. Now bring it. And then, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> no, just throw it on the ground. This. Yes. The step. What's the if, if I can just go from here right in and check? Why not do it? The step. First is the safety. Yeah, yeah. What if he moves? What if he sidesteps and counts as you're going about? That step is is you can always break from the technique and go someplace else. You keep your center line intact. You're, you're, first and foremost, you're keeping control of that line of attack. He's got the line of attack coming in. You change that line of attack immediately by, I mean, you're going down, you're going around, and you're going straight on. So you've completely manipulated that line of attack. That step first as you're driving, and then the check. That step is just, you can do, you, you're not committed to the technique. If you go from here right into the check, he could spin on you yep. and reverse the takedown. Yeah. He could reverse the check. He can do the check. What if you're fighting with another frame of stylus and he reverses that check on you? That out a bit, not too much, that out a bit to the side, and then the drive as you step kind of gives you a little bit of safety. Like I said to you over there, Make your, your thigh about or your, your knee about that far from his leg on your initial down into the side and then walk as you're driving the shoulder, walk that leg behind. Yeah. 